Hello, welcome back. This here looks like the desktop of our Raspberry. Is it true? No, it's not. Look at this. This is the VNC connection on my computer. Yeah, working pretty well, I would say. Yeah, I said, yeah, okay, we can operate and so on. Not a problem. Yeah. The disadvantage, the disadvantage of these VNC connections is that all this information we see, this beautiful picture, yeah, this needs to be transferred. This needs to be transferred over the network. This, but this is for just working. This is not necessary. So we need a really good network connection to transfer all, uh, or let's say, a lot of unnecessary data. Most of the cases, we're just typing in commands yeah, to our Raspberry and receiving the result. So it's just enough to transfer some letters. Yeah. That's all. All those nice and fancy pictures and the menus which are popping up and so on. We don't need this. Yeah. So, therefore, we're not using VNC. Therefore, we are using SSH, Secure Shell. This is exactly doing this. Yeah? Like the VNC viewer, there's also a program which can be used on our Windows computer, or our, on, let's say on our computer. Just close this connection there. Yeah. You can go to the address putty.org, putty, putty, putty. This is the program we are using, PuTTY. You can download it here. I've used here a 64-bit installer for Windows, but my, my operating system, 64-bit Windows 10. And then I installed it, and then it looks like this, or close like this. Now we want to do a connection. Okay? PuTTY supports a lot of type of connections. Here we have to select SSH. Yeah. Here we have to type in the address, the IP address, okay, here we have to type in the IP address and then we just have to press open, it's working. We get some message, hey, hey this server, I don't know this server, there is a fingerprint of this server, I'm not sure how to, can I trust it? And if you select yes, then Putty is remembering this. Yeah. We see it's a pretty small window. It's a pretty small window. So I, I am going to change something a little bit in my Putty. Yeah. Close this. Yes, I want to end this session. I will start Putty again. Yeah. I will type in the IP address again. And here at the appearance, I'm changing this to 16 point. And now, I do not want to change this all time again. So I type in, I just say, black raspberry, say save, and that's it now. Now it's saved. I open, ah, this looks already a little bit different. Okay, login, standard user is pi. Yeah. You've given this standard user a password. Yeah. I hope you remembered this password. And that's it, we are there. Yeah. Now we are connected and now we do not need to, to, to transfer all those fancy pictures and so on. We just type in a command get the response. That's it. This is working on really low connection speeds also pretty pretty well. Okay. This is SSH. Now I simply have the command line interface of uh, Unix. Yeah, or in this case Raspberry OS. Okay. Good. Yeah. This is why 
we are using putty. Yeah. Close. Start again. Now you see nothing is typed in. Black Raspberry, load, open, back. We are back. Okay. This thing we are going to use the next few videos. Now you know what SSH is. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.